people and today we're gonna film on aaron brewer miami dolphins newest center and i just recorded this video so i'm re-recording it because it didn't show anything of the film but yeah i'm a big fan of this signing i think he's the absolutely perfect fit for what the dolphins need his movement skills his explosiveness out in space is so impressive um it's exactly what they need and i think it's just super interesting too how people are going to see this on a surface level because he's it kind of reminds me of the Connor Williams deal, how like other fan bases felt about it, the previous team. And uh, I think he's just going to end up playing even better in Miami due to a couple of reasons. Because one, as a run blocker, he, it's exactly very similar to what they did in Tennessee. But even more so um, with what the Dolphins do, they're just running constantly, like, you know, the screens, stuff like this. Uh, the outside zone, it's what they value really, really well. You From that inside position at center, you got to be able to cut people off, reach them, climb to second level. And when Connor Williams went down, I feel like the Dolphins really lacked that and didn't have that from their center. And Brewer does all that stuff super, super well, super easily. And I think when it comes to Brewer's weakness, he's going to be able to be protected in this Dolphins system with how quickly they get rid of the ball. He's not great in pass protection. And then, uh, but when they do, you know, hold on to the ball, they're either sliding their protection. They're giving double teams on the interior. They're using play action to slow down the rush. Really, the Dolphins O-line only gets like a few real like one-on-one -on -one pass rush versus pass sets like a game. And especially at center, it's very, you know, not like a high percentage thing so that's why i feel pretty good about the whole brewer and uh, uh fit with this team and i think he'll be well protected with his biggest weakness and his biggest strength i think is exactly what they're looking for and it's a lot of a lot of fun to really watch him play and uh you know i'll get to the rest of the players this week i'll watch you know jack barrett jordan poyer uh, anthony walker get one out each every day possibly more depending on who they sign um but i think got to give greer some credit this is the type of free agent signings i like Getting solid level starters or high end depth for good value. That's really what I'm looking for uh, in free agency. And then spending on the premium positions more in the draft because then you don't have to spend as much money on those guys. Uh, so, yeah, just big fan of this signing. And we'll get right into the rest of this video. Sure. Just a natural as a run blocker, whether he's got to, you know, cut and reach guys that are two eyes on play side or just get instantly to second level. He can also combo and climb to second level. But when he's left like uncovered like this and he just has to cut off linebackers. He does it so easily this time you know he gets off a cut block he explodes out of a stance like it's nothing takes a perfect angle cuts that guy off like if th this this player right here ends up setting this edge perfectly which uh slows this play down but if that's not done look how much room is created in a lane here and with for the dolphins that's exactly what they need and brewer is doing this on a consistent basis so often and i just think that's a huge boost that he's going to bring to the running game and he also wasn't that expensive of a contract, so I'm a big fan of what Brewer's going to bring in those areas. Nice play side run here on another, you know, Titans toss. Um, he just instantly cuts him off. He's able to uh, sustain and strain here, get his hips across. It takes him a little while to get his hips across perfectly, but right out of his stance, you got to snap the ball here, and then instantly gets out of his stance, open up those hips, get your head across instantly. So now you're in a position to succeed. Look at him now, get his hands underneath. He resets it, and now he's just in a really nice strained position. Uh, you can see him leg driving, trying to keep himself, you know, in a good spot. And now, you know, he's cut off perfectly, exactly what you want. And he does this stuff like this guy has a, you know, shade to play side. So he's in, you know, the advantageous position here. And a lot of centers can, you know, cut off one text. But he's doing it constantly when they're like lined up over the guards too, which is not easy. You also see his first step, the way he does it. A lot of times he takes like, a lot of guys are working like laterally. They take like a 45 degree step. A lot of times Brewer's taking like a 45 degree step backwards just so he can get in the right position he needs to, which is very, very impressive that he's able to change up his get-ups out of his stance. Uh, very, very good stuff. Really love watching him work as a run blocker. Literally, it's like art at times. And here's an example of that. Uh, very, you know, similar thing. Working the, this time, working uh, more of like a pull almost out of this. Uh, how they're working like a pin and pull. Get this guy to block down. These guys get out in space. And he gets a little bit of help from the right guard, but look at, you know, that first step out, right? He's working backwards, and he is already able to cut off this defensive tackle who is lined up as basically a two slight shade to the inside on the guard with pretty wide stance, and he's able to get in front of him instantly, stiff arms him to the chest, like, and now boom, you cut him off. And once you've cut him off, get inside. He plays with great pad level because he is a little undersized, and he can struggle with some length and power in pass protection, as you'll see. But then he just, boom, stains drives him down the field he does a good job he plays with some nastiness in that area um honestly i'm flying through this video compared to the first time i recorded it but now you know that i've said everything uh makes it a lot easier to just do it again but yeah 
so much to like about Brewer's game, especially when it comes to the run blocking. That's why I feel very confident about him working out for the Dolphins. Another example here for Brewer getting to the second level on a linebacker. This time, instead of like cutting him off, he's able to, you know, just drive him down, carry his momentum away. Because this linebacker is, you know, they're running the, basically the same toss play. Last time, the linebacker was a little more shaded to the backside of the play. So this guy is able to cheat this time, not have Brewer able to cut him off. But Brewer still takes a good angle, squares him up down the field. And this time, you know, Brewer, you know, explodes into him. Really good job, hand placement. Not able to cut him off this time, but you have choices when you're in these situations. You know, get your hips across, you know, but now you, you see that he's over pursued a little bit. His momentum's going this way. So just drive him down the line of scrimmage, create cutback lanes for your running back. He was doing all of this stuff a lot. He also played some guard for the Titans over the years, but I do think he's going to be a center for the Dolphins. Uh, that's exactly what they're going to see him as because I think they value the more of those movement skills at the center position than they do at the guards. If you just look at uh, the players they've had play those positions. Uh, throughout McDaniel, McDaniel's tenure. So I definitely uh, think he's going to be a center for the Dolphins, but he does have some guard versatility. If Another good job of reaching this guard again, just getting into position. It, it's such a tough ask, and then he also you know drives him down the line a little bit. But this is such a tough ask, asking centers to do this on a consistent basis, and they really, really you know ask him to do a lot. And he doesn't even get a ton of help. Usually when they do ask centers to do this, they get the guard you know, help out a lot and chip and hold on to it until the center gets full possession. But they just throw hands and then instantly go to the next player. And Brewer is able to take that step back. You can see that first step being backwards. Get out of your stance. Cut this guy off. Now you're in a position. Your hat's across his hat. You've completely squared him up. Great high hand, low hand. Uh, that's how you're able to, you know, uh, show some nice. He has some good grip strength as well. Now he's just driving with him down the line of scrimmage. Guy does a good job of getting laterally once uh, Brewer gets into the spot. But then uh, Brewer maintains it and then still keeps him going down the line, sustains it, doesn't allow him to shed at all. And, you know, even carries him multiple yards down the line of scrimmage after that, so, or down the field. So that's a lot of a uh, really nice play to see there from Brewer. Some subtle nuance with his hands, his feet. He does a great job with the little things. Also combined with his high-end top-tier athleticism. I really like to see this stuff from Brewer as well. Uh, Titans working some counter. I like to see, you know, where I know I was going to perform on those outside zone, those toss type of concepts, and Dolphins run those all the time. You know, they're always going to be mixed in other concepts, so it's nice to see him work the combo, attack the low hip of this guy, help your guy get control of this. And a lot of guys will try to instantly climb to the second level, but he sees this linebacker being patient, so he's showing good eyes. Also, look at the ankle flexion. Very, very impressive. So now that he's helped this guy, he's still helping him, staying square, but getting his eyes to the next guy. Sees he's not shooting down instantly, so he's staying a little more patient. And now gets out of his stance, cuts this guy off, and now Spears is hitting through this. He also knows it's counter, which can take a little bit longer to develop just due to you know, the counter steps, the footwork, and things. So, uh, and their uh, running back will play a little more patient, and he gets out. Perfect timing of it all. Really good stuff with the combo and climb to the second level. Taking a look at a play in pass protection, this is where he can struggle. When he gets like these true pass rush one on uh, you know, right there, those reps like that. He can, you know, struggle with length and power. And when he tries to make up for it here, he, like, he has no hands in. This guy uses that long arm right there with that right hand into the chest of the uh, Brewer. So he gets caught off balance and he tries to recover, reset those hands and get really low and anchor. But he um, gets too low and then falls off balance. So he can really just struggle with the strength, uh, length of defensive tackles. He's just not as comfortable moving backwards, I would say. And then, you know, the guard also loses his battle, but... These opportunities, I think, will be a lot more rare with the Dolphins. It was like, oh, this was pretty much like every pass set, I would say, like him just getting a one-on-one -on -one a lot, which I, doesn't happen very often for the Dolphins. So when you're having a lot of one-on-one -on -one pass sets and you're not great in pass fiction, there's going to be a lot of times you lose. So with less opportunities, I think, for the Dolphins and them giving him help and just getting rid of the ball quicker when they do do these types of pass sets, I think Brewer will get a lot of help in his uh, biggest weakness, which I just think he had to go into the perfect team for his skill set. I feel like a lot of times people think like if an offensive lineman's going backwards, they're losing this rep. But in these types of situations on these outside zone, these toss plays, it actually is advantageous. Like when you're asked to block this two eye and his first step is upfield, like he gets vertical instantly, you got to go backwards. Like take that first step backwards, let them even create a little bit of space on you. As long as you don't give it too much space to really blow this up, and now you're just able to cut him off. So you go backwards a, like a, a yard and a half. But he now he gets in still in just perfect position to sustain that. And that guy never had a chance to make a play. Even though he was in a good spot too. Brewer just does the little things really well. And still able to cut him off. 
from a guy that's in a 2i as the center. Very, very impressive. Last play that we break down here for Brewer, center. Um, also has a guard versatility. I don't know. If, I think I mentioned, did I mention that this time around? I don't know. But he's more of a center. I just think that's what the Dolphins really value at the skill set um, that he has because, you know, he has to be more involved making these reach blocks on a consistent basis, whether they run to the left or the right. And he just does it so easily. It's just an effortless thing for him to get out, gets a little bit of help from the guard, but look how quickly he just, boom, out of the stance, explodes. Your hand placement is perfect, and you've instantly hooked him. Your body's across. You're in a perfect spot. The ball hasn't even been handed off yet on the outside zone. Henry hasn't even touched the ball, and Brewer already won his rep with ease, and he also has just that natural leverage advantage due to his height. And, I mean, they end up running into the tackle and the other guy that he was blocking, which ends up, you know, blowing up that play. But really just wins his reps so so fast to help create these big lanes that's why you know sometimes like they're they stack the box to a lot versus tennessee because of henry as the running back so when there was big lanes created it was because of this offensive line and like this is a pretty big room to work with and able to pick up some nice gain there on a first and 10 situation i feel like if you create those types of lanes for the Dolphins running backs who are super explosive, which I think Brewers is going to help out so much in that area. That's why I'm a big fan of the signing. So there's a video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in